Step three is just drawing it for t equals infinity and to find that voltage across the capacitor at infinity. Or if it was an inductor, find the current through the inductor. So now we're going to solve it for t equals infinity. So we've got a, once again, our capacitor is present, but it's an open. And we need to draw it. We need to draw it because there's our voltage across the capacitor at infinity. If we don't draw that in, we might end up simplifying away where this voltage is. And although I could draw this I, I'm not going to because there's no reason to. The only, I'm not taking my I off the prize, which is to find what that voltage is across the capacitor. And that's the only thing that matters. All right, so this is our circuit for time equals infinity. As before, we're interested in this. We're not interested in this. And since we know there's no current going through this that affects the circuit, we can just ignore it. So that simplifies things down to That's meant to be an infinity sign. Now I think it's pretty clear that there's no source here. And without any source, our V C of infinity has got to be equal to zero volts. 